we are on our way to Dutch Wonderland. It is in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. It's about 48 acres. So it's a very small park. About a little less than half the size of Hershey Park, which is another local park to us here in central Pennsylvania. Got got Haley with me. And we're gonna show you guys around the park. Pretty busy for a Monday here at Dutch Wonderland. How tired of waiting are you, Haley? It's literally been an hour in line here at Dutch Wonderland for a three coaster park. So I'm going to give you my review on Dutch Wonderland and basically tell you what I think and if it's a good value or not and I'm going to rank it at the end of this video but I just want to go over some things it's roughly around $60 per person to go the only reason we went was because I was there to get my palace entertainment platinum pass which is good for any of the parks like Kennywood, Idlewild, Adventureland in Iowa, different parks that they have to offer. And that'll run you roughly around $220. We are pretty much going to hit like a one and done kind of deal with all of those parks. But that being said, there is a certain charm to this park. I can see if you had real small children, three, four, five, six maybe. Um, but any older than that, this is probably not a park for them if they are the thrill-seeking type. My daughter, she's five, and she liked some of the rides, but I gotta be honest, she was pretty bored after about, oh, I'd say about an hour, she was ready to go. By no means do I want my review to discourage you from going. Um, it is a wonderful little park, but is it worth $60? Mm, I don't know. When Hershey parks down the street for pretty much 60 bucks, you can get tickets for them, you know, discounted tickets. So I, I don't know. Um, smaller children though, probably it's probably worth it for you. But that being said, they do have three roller coasters here. One being the Kingdom Coaster. And I want to say this is probably their standout coaster. Some would argue and say it's Merlin's Mayhem. Which is the next coaster that I'm going to show you here. It's this yellow one behind there. And it's an s, &S inverted coaster. And it's only 1,300 feet of track. So it's a very small and short ride. Uh, but definitely... You know, just to get a kid on a roller coaster, from an enthusiast standpoint, I mean, that's great. So if you can get a kid to get comfortable with roller coasters, this is a place to take them. They do have a hotel on site, the Cartoon Network Hotel. And if you're a season pass holder, I think you get a discount there. They also have a campground behind there, which you also get a discount on being a season pass holder. So keep these things in mind. Like I said, it's got quite a few different little kitty rides that it has to offer. Um, a couple of little water rides. They also have a nice little water park for the kids. Has a few little water slides. Not a bad little park. If you're local to the area, I could see getting a season pass. But with that being said... If I'm going to rank this out of five, it'd probably be a five if you have a very young family, a couple of real small children. But um, from my standpoint, I'd have to give this park like a three star out of five. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button. I've got a lot more reviews coming out soon. 
of different parks. Thanks again, guys.